All right, the map is Dino Canyon, and we're the yellow player right here, one of five players, and this is a bot, so four humans and a bot. This person did not ready up in the lobby. This blizzard makes this a two-point hold for plus four right here in the Hadrosaurus Plain, which we don't have any territories in there at all, which is unfortunate, although we could cap here, and it's still a one two-point hold for us to have this, and we block him from having this plus four in the Carnotaurus Cliff. It's pretty good. This blizzard makes this a one, two, three point hold for plus four in the carnivore clutch. These are the bonuses, five, four, 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 and six. This blizzard makes this into a one, two, three, four point hold for the herbivore, herbivore hatchery instead of five. And it does nothing to affect these ones so much. Although this blizzard right here makes so you can block off this half of the map on a one point right here. And you can, you can this entire corner, uh, four, 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 you can hold on a one, two, three point hold is pretty nice. I don't have a uh, territory here, here, or here, so I can't hold it in the front where I want to. Most of my troops are not around here. I don't love that blue cap there, but I could cap here to block them from holding this, and I could work towards grabbing that eventually, or I could cap in here, try to go for this. I think I want this two-point hold, assuming nobody else capped back here. We'll try for this. Blue player won't love that, but they can't hit me with that eight right away, because that uh, territory of theirs is their colors that can't attack through it. We are protected. I don't love that most of my troops are nowhere near here, to help me get this quickly, but once we hold this, we have the strongest uh, bonus in the game. A, uh, four, a plus four on a two-point hold is very strong for us. And then we can have, like, maybe one stack over here to, like, make sure nobody holds these two bonuses. And one stack over here, big and strong, like, get this to four to five to here somehow. To kind of move around and make sure nobody holds these, perhaps. Red is... I won't be surprised if red is, like, in here somewhere. Okay, so the white player attacks there, okay. Makes it easier to like attack here, fortify this up, maybe. I could attack here for card, fortify this two over to here, and uh, try and get these all grouped up when the time arises for us. Easy card, easy fortify. We don't go for this yet. We need quite a few turns of stacking in my capital before I have enough troops to grab this, unless these guys fight amongst each other. Also, I would like to attack around, so we know there's no capitals here. I need to find where the capitals are at. No capitals in here. There could be some capital. This was ours. We saw this, I think. So, um, yeah, they attacked here. We lost our vision. Attack me there. There goes my two. I think red is going for this because they're actually very strong for this bonus. Now, I could have my... I could stack one troop there and hit this. They're fortifying over. They see that that's a one-point hole for this half of the map. And they're going to start working towards that. So, they probably have a capital maybe here or here. And they're working to get on three bonuses on a three-point hold. Don't love that for us so much. Blue is going to be here, probably big mad at me for blocking their bonus. Ooh, they got a big stack up there. That's terrifying. But we can make sure the blue doesn't get anything. And they're stacking next to my six there. That's scary. We'll put six right here. And um, you might hear some car noises outside. It's noisy where I live. I'm actually going to attack right here because I want vision of what's happening over here. Okay, we have seen... Okay, this does connect to there. You got 12 right there. I'm going to fortify uh, this away from... No, this over to here. Hopefully you don't attack there. We can work on combining those up. Seven troops from Magenta. The fact that blue is probably going to be pretty mad at us is a problem. I don't like that the bot stacked seven there. That tells me that the bot might want to grab this plus four bonus, which ruins my entire plan. And that's exactly what's going on here. Unless the bot fortifies out of there... Ooh, wait, unless the bot attacks a bunch and leaves it nice and weak for me. Well, that eight there is scary. That eight might just stay there. So that's probably a one. That's a three. That's a three. The problem is the bot's going to keep going for that. So I might need to attack this sooner than I'm hoping. If I'm lucky, the white player hits that eight because they don't like the magenta bot there. I don't love them fighting the bot for this. That's what you don't want to be doing. Maybe the bot's cap is down there somewhere. Oh, please hit that eight. Please attack that eight. No, you're going down that way. Okay. So, I mean, the white and red are fighting down here for all of this. Ooh, you're getting that bonus real quick. You move pretty quickly, too. Okay. I'm worried the blue is going to be fixated on me for capping here. I think that might be a big problem for us. The fact that blue might be mad at us, looking to self-destruct us, and I'm racing the bot for this bonus is a problem. I mean, I could just break the bot, fortify back, buy myself some more time. You know, be patient about it, because if I, you know, three, six, seven, best case scenario, eight troops I have to carve through, even with the attacker's bonus, I lose, you know, maybe six or seven, down to five, I get five, seven turns, ten, I've got ten in my cap, split to defend it is like five and five, he just, these stacks here just takes my cap, 
or the bot stacks there and breaks me. So I think we break the bot to make sure they don't have it and also get vision back here. And we fortify up and we could stack one troop here, attack this and fortify onto that to get away from you slamming that three of mine. Stay stronger over here, but then I might lose vision. It's hard to say. I think the red player is going to be pretty mad at the white player. And they're getting a card over there. Maybe they go for this bonus. Hmm, where is the blue player? I mean, blue players, red players, there's the white. So basically, white's going for this corner now. The red player's going for this corner. The blue player just seems to be wanting to hang out near me. And the magenta is all up in my business exactly where I want to be. Rough, rough stuff. I would love to find the magenta cap. Oh, they are going to attack that three unlucky. I mean, they want a card, and well, that's easy fix. And they didn't lose any troops. Great dice for them. Just fortify back and trap yourself in your cap. That's fine. I don't think that can attack there, can it? Okay, they want to, they want to hang out in their cap. Okay, so they've trapped their cap. The bottle a bottle probably free it. Five troops for us. I wonder where the, if the does the bot have a cap up there? Can I hit there and find a bot cap? No, the white player yoinked it right. We stack right here. I think the blue player is biding their time to come for us. Wait, hoping I'll over attack. I'm not going to. Ooh, hello. Bot capital. I will yoink this. Ooh, this slide down a little bit too much. Wish I had more troops on this side of the board. I'm going to leave this a little bit weaker near the bot. Hopefully the blue player doesn't have any funny ideas. That helps a little bit. Now the bot gets less troops per turn. These players should guess that I or somebody took the bot's cap there. The bot did not stack for this is great. The bot's attacking up here. Love that. Yeah, attack down there. I don't mind that so much. You have one, two, one. Let's eight fortifies down there, which we would see with the arrows if you do. All right, there, my neighbor is idling their car. Hopefully it doesn't pick up the mic too much. Hopefully it doesn't. Always will be like a low rumble. Nine troops for you because you have that plus four that nobody broke. That's really nice for you. But we do have, um, we have a plus two that's hard to break. So we're not in a lot of trouble. And eventually, once we eventually deal with Magenta Bot, it might take a while. Um, I'm going to have a two-point hold on a plus six because you have the plus four, plus the cap is plus six. So a two-point hold on plus six is very strong, although you're going to uh, extend out to have this entire corner. Red's going to extend out to have this. And the blue player, if I'm unlucky, is just waiting to get sweet, sweet revenge on me for capping inside of their bonus. But hey, I mean, uh, I, this is my strongest play right here and hope they don't self-destruct on me. If red, uh, blue is going to get five troops, stack them right here is 12. 12 v 7 is possible with 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 an aggressive blue player and good luck on their side. We do lose his cap and that basically would push us out of the match here. But we got to take a risk and hope to get away with it when we're in a situation where white and red is kind of getting away with murder over there. Did you even become a bot? No, you're still here. You're still here and you're still here. And I'm unfortunately the one dealing with the bot, and the bot fortifies into here, unfortunately for me. What do I do? I probably just stack my capitals and just get a card somewhere on the cheap. Like, I could attack here for a card. The bot did free the blue player to move out again if they want to come out and hit my five stack. The five stack serves not a lot of purpose apart from, like, just getting cards. Is blue going to try and grab this plus six up here in the pterodactyl terrace? I'd be okay with that. Ooh, so you have oh, 7, 14, 25 troops right there, plus at least 26. Seven troops for us. We've held on to our stuff. I want to stack, I don't know, I think three here and then four here. And then we are going to attack here for a card unoffensively towards anybody. And then we just kind of, we just kind of chill and we mind our business and we wait. And hopefully the bot, you know, stacks here and attacks there or there or stacks here and attacks there, or fortifies out. What I don't want is the bot to keep stacking over here. Okay, the bot that stacked over there, I think, and attacks over here. That's great. I want the bot, yeah, get the bot fighting over here. Yeah, oh, there we go. That's exactly what we were waiting for. Finally, finally, this bot cooperates a little bit. Sabotaging me the whole match. The white player sitting over here getting plus nine every turn on this on this uh, three-point hole in this bonus. Just getting away with it because, well, nobody wants to break him. Red's busy trying to recover from white hitting them early, trying to get a bonus over here. The blue player, I don't even know what they're doing. I think they're slowly working towards grabbing this. The blue player seems to be pretty patient. They don't seem to be self-destructing on me. I think they're just trying to slowly uh, get some bonus for themselves. Maybe they're waiting for me waiting for me to make a mistake. I don't know. I don't think I don't think the white player has any intention of ever hitting magenta here. 
So if I take this, hit here, hit here, I have to leave three for the split, then hit here and just leave everything defending here, um, the bot could get three uh, troops and then card trade for um, uh, four, half seven, stack here a ten. I need to leave enough here that the bot won't attack ten versus whatever we have here. Fifteen hits here, hits here, leaves three. I mean, ten's about the most we'd have there. I think we probably just want to take the risk and hope to get away with it. Five troops. Well, actually, we get seven, so I have 17, right? Yeah, I think we hit here, hit here, hit here. Fortify the extra from here over to here. Should be enough to hold this. Bob probably won't hit that. Blue hopefully isn't too interested in slamming my uh, 10. They didn't hit my 7 last turn, right? They don't seem particularly interested in it, right? Red is working on slowly trying to get their stuff over there. They hit white out of there. That's fine. Just be nice and patient over here. I feel like red that has... I feel like this is most of what red has. I think red's very low on troops. It's not worth trying to eliminate someone now for four troops. It's not worth it. What we want is to get our beautiful two-point hold, plus six bonus, strongest position in the game. Unfortunately, it's taking me a long time to get it because the bot has been, you know, actively sabotaging me. And I have to, like, over-defend against the blue player because they're over there being terrifying and scary. But that must be done. Also, most of my troops were nowhere near the position I wanted. Also, a bit of a problem. Like that five and that nine. Like, I had, like, six troops in the region of the board that I wanted to go for, so... Bit rough. Get the bot out of this section of the world. Hopefully get some good dice in the attacking here. Fantastic dice. So much, though, I can actually fortify these over to here to be stronger against Blue's scary 14 right there. That is a scary 14. But Blue doesn't seem terribly interested in rolling the dice of, like, trying to attack my capital and hope for good dice. They, they're playing it safe. Which is good for me. Ooh, the magenta bot just hit there. Okay. Oh, they hit my four. There goes my vision over there. You had, like, what, 10, 20, 30 troops? I've got effectively like 22. White player is in first place on troops. Give me a couple turns and I will be uh, second place in catching up. I think I'm like a little bit behind the blue player in troops because I've been fighting the bots trying to get that territory that nobody knows apart from the bot. And well, the bot doesn't know, right? So I think we're doing it right here. As long as um, the bot doesn't card trade in 10v10. I don't think the bot will do a 10v10. As long as the white player doesn't come through here and hit this. As long as the blue player doesn't hit this. As long as the red player doesn't stack here and hit this. A lot of ifs. A lot of ifs. Sorry, commentary. Um, just thinking. I'm just. I was paying attention to like the bots here and thinking, hmm, how do we like get the bot kill? I was thinking like we should probably like hit that out of there before we get lose sight of it from the white player. That way we can uh, know where the bots. Are. I think the bot <sighs> mostly over here. You're fortifying off of that. Are you gonna leave the undefended guys? No, you're gonna. You're defending there. You have a one, two, you, you probably have this. You probably have a one, two, three point hold. I didn't realize it was a three point hold for uh, these two as well. That's nice. The white player is going to be very, very strong soon if we're not careful. I can't push through an 11. Can I yoink their capital? Am I in a situation to try and anger the white player when the blue player is probably holding a grudge against me for me blocking them? I don't know that I am. I don't like the idea of them getting plus uh, eight per turn. But I'm getting plus six per turn, so I'm not that far behind. If I pick a fight with them right now, I'm picking a fight with somebody who has just more troops and stronger position than me, right? If I really wanted to, I could stack here, hit here, hit here, take your capital. That breaks, that takes six away from you, gives two to me. But then the blue player's sitting back laughing. If it was only myself and the white player in the match, we stack our, uh, what's it? We were getting seven, but now we're getting four more, 11. 16, actually, that'd be a, maybe 14 or 15, doesn't, probably doesn't even win. I could stack it here and hit this and break you, leave you vulnerable. Uh, that seems unwise. Ooh, the blue player uh, just broke the red player, I think, down there. That's fine. I think what we do is we play it safe here. Um, I think we play it safe. What are you, what are you crying about? I don't know. I'm going to put a fair bit over here and then actually one more over there. Stack that nice and strong. Actually, I don't trust that uh, 17 stack. The rest over here. Grab a quick card over to here. And then I'm going to fortify back out of Red's way. Friendly-like. Maybe we be maybe we befriend Red. So I'm pretty sure Blue, not a fan of us. I think Magenta Bot might be over here. Oh, card traits aren't that big yet. I'm not sure it's worth taking you out yet. 14 troops for you. You are holding this, which means they have a three-point hold. 
on two bonuses, but they don't have anybody's cap yet. So I'm getting, I got two point hold on six. You've got a three point hold on uh, eight. So you're still slightly in the lead, slightly stronger position. You got there first because, well, I was the one who had to fight the bot and just nobody contested you the entire match. And the blue player is just over here, just, it feels like the blue player is not trying for a bonus. They're just stacking on their cap and here. Like they're just waiting for opportunity to slam me because I blocked their bonus. So I can't be picking a fight with anybody um, when I might have somebody holding a grudge waiting to, you know, hit me in a moment of vulnerability. And my two point hold on a plus six is still really strong. We're in the number two position. And as the card bonuses get bigger and bigger, the uh, white player gets easier and easier to break. I could attack here for another territory, but that does reveal the white player what I have. Well, they might, the white player might not know where I'm at in the board, though. If they're smart, they probably figured it out. Red's going to keep trying to grab and hold this. I'm going to keep trying to be a good neighbor with them. Be nice, friendly, buddy, buddy. They card trade. Force card trade to get six troops, okay. I think the red player is just... White player's here. The red's not over there. The red's got uh, this, maybe some troops there, I don't know. All of this. A five stack there. I think this is all blue. I don't think red's over there. Red might be in a position to get... Red might be getting eliminated soon. They're having a hard time getting and holding uh, a bonus. Blue card trade stacks it there. Surely you don't try a 30 versus 18. You are. And... You succeeded. So, in fact, the blue player was sitting here waiting to hold a grudge against us the entire match, unfortunately. And that will be the end of our match. The blue player was so mad that we did this that these, yeah, maybe we can maybe we can call back from this. But the blue player sat here the entire match waiting to uh to to sabotage me because I I I capped right. I dared to cap in their bonus. Like I get it. All right, only three troops for us. So this can be feeding the wind to white most likely. So we do this. And we are going on a mission to get sweet, sweet revenge. And uh, maybe we can push them out of the match if we're lucky, or at the very least, sabotage them a lot. Nope, they got 20 right there. They're doing pretty healthy. We are going to hit you a lot, sir. If I don't get to have a bonus, you don't get to have any troops anywhere. We can fortify back to our capital, to safety. They have 21 troops, I have 37. So I actually do have more than they do. The bot breaks me here. Maybe takes his cat back. Maybe it doesn't. Um, ooh, they push red out of there. They do break my bonus over here. If white's smart, they'll figure out what's going on over here. Come in here and grab this capital from me. Plus 14 for you. The blue player literally sat here this entire match. Not even trying to make it so they have a chance of winning. Their entire goal was just to try and sabotage me. Imagine being that mad that you sit for 20 minutes just to sabotage one person. Imagine being that mad. Now the white player gets to have a third bonus. Nobody's stopping them. 10 for the red player. Can we somehow come back from this blue player just being the most petulant player I played all day? Red player's happy because they actually held a bonus. Good for you. I mean, it's progressive. We could come back from this. We need to get the blue player out of here. I need to get the kill. I could get the kill on Magento be huge. That would be a massive for us. I'd love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need the kill on Magento. That could save us. Although the blue player could card trade or slam us again. Wait, they still have a six over on the other side. I didn't even realize that. I forgot about that. They card trade on three, of course. They have a card trade on three. Of course they have a card trade on three, and they come and slam my capital again. You petulant child. You petulant brat. Grow up. Grow up. It's just one bonus. And they only lost five more than I did. Great. Do I have a card trade in three? I do. Fifteen troops. Oh, they don't take my other capital. That's a mistake. Five plus a card trade as well. We take this. We need to eliminate the bot. We stack everything on this over here because that's five. It's going to get wiped out by white pretty soon. We hit this. We hit this. We hit... Um, should we do one of these over to here? Blue is going to have that capital. Um, if I get my card trade, I can, grab, I can grab their capital real quick, actually. We take this as well. We get their five cards. We card trade again. That'll be good for us. Love that for us. And we do these. We don't actually hit blue here. We want to take his capital. We're going to 
do these right here. Well played. Thank you. We hit this and we get your capital. You're so obsessed with causing us problems. You are now next in line to be eliminated. And this might be a video where we just get second place. I've been putting a lot of wins on the channel. Mostly wins. We got tossed up the occasional loss here. But I mean, there's a chance maybe if blue stops throw, just giving the match to the white player and myself and red work together against yellow, maybe there's hope. Maybe the yellow white player makes a mistake. I don't think they do. They picked a strong position. They played aggressively for it, got away with it. I'm over here fighting the bot and the blue player. I don't know how the red player managed to struggle so badly when literally I'm I'm fighting a 2v1. You were in a potential 1v1 with the white player. I guess the red the white, blue player broke up times, but you could even handle that. I need a card trade on three here to eliminate blue to get their two cards just to not have them hit me anymore. No card trade, unfortunate. I mean, I get seven next turn. You'll break me. I get seven. 27 hits this red getting a card trade. No, don't go there. Yeah, go there. Hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this. Break the white player. You have to hit the white player. I don't know if you're good enough to realize what a massive threat they are on the board. It does show on the screen every single time their turn pops up how they're strong they are. Please keep attacking. Keep attacking. Again, again. Hit here, hit here, hit here. Break them. Do all kinds of damage to the white player. No, you fortified pretty quickly. It tells me you didn't go very far in. Maybe you just went here and stopped. Don't fortify to here or here. Trust X. Okay, the red player is doing a trust exercise with me to not break them. Love that. Love that. You're going to hit here. Yep, that's going to, you're going to break that. If I'm lucky, you slam on my castle and, you know, self-destruct. And yeah, come on, hit me again. Nope, you're going to take all my territories. That's actually good for me. Yeah, attack all my territories now. I want you to attack more, more my territories. Seven troops for us. I can't actually, um, I can't actually take you out with that. I'm not going to try and hold a bonus here. I can actually keep your capital pin from going there or there again. Doesn't matter, you just go there. Um, I can push the white player out of here. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. Just give them less chance to stack stuff over here. And I'll stack over here. Wait, did I have a card trade? I don't know if I did or not. I, I did not. I needed one. I need the blue player to not get a card trade before I do. We hit this just to get you out of there. Give the blue player something else to break, right? And... If the red player and I can work together against, ooh, white, 18 troops, you had more than that, right? You had, you had more than that last time, right? I think so. Which means the red player might have broken you. And that means the white player might focus on you, but the card trade is huge. And if you're smart, you use it to eliminate blue for two cards. I mean, getting blue off my back would be an advantage. Then myself and red team up on you. That'd be good, right? I think that'd be good. I need you, uh, actually, if I'm unlucky, they use that and just devastate red. That could be bad. Feels like uh, we're in a rough situation here. I guess make, I mean it's a big gamble capping in somebody's bonus. They might hold a grudge for against the entire match and just sit there waiting to get you. Ooh, you are taking out blue for two cards. Honestly, that could be doing me a favor. Are you going to? What are you gonna do here? You can break my bonus up top. Surely, there's no way we hold that bonus up top. You don't take out blue. You just want some vision, and now. You're pinned, unless the blue frees, which they probably do, because they want to free your cap to move in. Your your cap's pinned back there. They have 60 there. They have 23. That's 83 troops right there. That I can see. I've got 54. And uh, again with no card trade. Again with no card trade. The, the, the damage. The emotional devastation. R wait, Red, why did you stack there? Red, why did you stack there? Red, why did you stack there? You... Oh, I, I needed you to be better than this, Red. Maybe you need an easy card. Okay, maybe they need an easy card. That's fine. If you just need a card, that's fine. And to fortify that back over to your front line or whatever, or your cap. Yeah, yeah. They needed a card. They had to do it there. I get it. Because white probably has a bunch stacked right there defending, so they can't get it there. And, uh, yeah, how many? That's fine. Okay, you stack right there. If I had a card trade, I would take you out this turn. They want to hit there to free white? No, they don't. They don't, they don't think about freeing white to clear themselves or me. Um, at a card trade here, I take you out. You probably get a card trade on three, don't you? For 35. You see 43 probably does some damage to me. I think what we do is, I mean, do I try 35? I mean, I could use one stack to soften it up and the other to finish it off. Maybe? I mean, maybe we, that's exactly what we do. And we hit here and, um, we slow roll a couple times and hope for good dice. Come on. Uh, got two good dice. Come on, a little bit more. Soften up, soften up. Um, there we go, another one. 
Soft up some more. Come on, let's go faster, faster. Don't don't have bad dice like that. Come on. Why does this animation take so long? One more, one more. Keep it nice and soft. All right, uh, cancel that, cancel that. And I need you to finish the job. Get this over here all the way, please. Roll three and 34 versus 14. 98% chance. Get out of my match, you petulant child. Stop ruining everything for me. Now we have this. We get plus 35. We use the dudes because I get an extra two troops from them. And we've card trained the, the little horses next turn there. And we, uh, can I chain elimination here? I cannot. I could break the white player, but they that would be honestly go poorly for me. I think what we do is we stack um, a fair bit over here for safety. And we stack a fair bit over here for safety. And then we fortify these over to here. Hold on, no. Fortify these over to here. I could have actually stacked this right here, but the white, the card traits are so big that protecting bonuses is a difficult thing to do. It's better to stack on my capitals that if they attack my troops, they lose more than I do most of the time. And hopefully the red player is going to be chill with me. And we kind of save up here. We have successfully taken out both the bot and the blue player. I have another card trait on five. Gives me, uh, look at all the, look at all the, <laughs> the cavalry. There, if I'm calling the right word. Gives me 40. Now I need to work to get, ooh, hello. Are you, oh, if you eliminate red for three cards, that's a problem. You're not eliminating red or you're messing up. Oh, I think you are limiting red right now. No, no, you're breaking bonuses. You're breaking bonuses is what you're doing, but not doing it properly. So you did not take out red, which tells me red probably has a bunch on their cap. Red and I hopefully will work together against you. I have three caps here and you messed up not taking this bonus. Not that plus four means a lot right now. It all is up. Five for you. You still have your cap. I need you to card trade in three and stay alive. Or I need you to not. And then I take your card trade. I feel like keeping you in this and you stacking on a cap would help me to deal with a white player a little bit better. And I think that's just a quick card grab, right? If I had to guess, that's a quick card grab and you're stacking on your cap. And then I can work on the white player. I could stack here, hit this, 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 this. Uh, here, 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 here. Ignore your cap unless it's undefended. Come through and try and break your bonuses and fortify back to my, uh, my castle here. My cap. I see the red player is attacking a lot. I wonder if they're burning through their troops, slamming the white player a lot right now. The question is, do I go through and, and attack them a bunch and get their cards? Or do I go through and hit the white player? The problem is, if I don't go for red, the end of their turn of four cards, and they're really low, then the white player might, uh, might grab them. That's the problem. We're going to do a big card trade here. We're going to stack this all right here. I need to know what's happening over here. I need to know what's going on in this neck of the woods. I can come back for this if I need to. You are possibly pretty weak over here. I don't know what's going on around here. You're all over the place. Red's getting big mad. Sorry. If you're getting mad at me, that tells me I need to uh, take you out. And uh, yeah, yeah, you left your cap undefended here. If you're giving me the mad sign, that tells me I need to push you out. Hopefully you don't have too many troops over there. You probably do, which means I might be feeding the kill over here. Um, please don't have too much over here. That's a problem. Okay, that's a bit of an issue. Okay, we need to... Uh, we've made the white player, the red player mad when they have a lot of troops. I don't think I can do much about that. Let's break the white player's bonuses as best we can. And we'll fortify back and face the wrath of both of them at the same time. Hit this. Sure, we have made mistakes. I didn't expect a 47 stack over there. We have made enemies. Uh, keep going. Uh, and fortify this back over to here. No! No! Timer, 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 timer. That's a problem. Trade in for 45. I've got a cap undefended. We're going to lose that. That 132 stack just takes out the red player unless they go for me. Nope, nope, nope. T to be honest, I needed to go for the red player. I just messed it up. Uh, they take out the red player for their cards. Now they have, oh, however many left after that. That's a big problem. 77. I need a card trade. I have a card trade. They can't take me out this turn because I've got two stacks on the capitals. Um, this is like all their troops unless they, yeah, they didn't get the card trade right away, I don't think. They'll have a card trade next turn. I need a cap run somehow, but my cap's undefended. I'll well, hit that 39. Hit my 39. Yeah, waste your troops. No, you're gonna, oh yes, that's great. Waste all your troops. Waste all your troops. Yes, 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 yes. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. We, we have to cap run this turn because they get a card trade before me. 
I need them to not have a lot on their cap. We card trade here. We go for the cap run. If we can't cap run, we can't win. How much they have on their cap is the problem. If they have too much in their cap, it just won't work. Um, okay, we hit this for sure. We hit that. Thank you. That's uh, three caps. Where are the other two? One and two. We need to follow this all the way around. Cap run to win. I can't take all their territories and stuff right now. I cannot let them get that uh, card trade off. We get this capital run capital right here. We go all the way around. And despite, in spite of everything, in spite of everything we get done, can I wait, I can't reach. I can reach. Good, it does reach down. Okay, I thought that I couldn't reach down. Then. There it is! Against all odds! Against all odds, we get the win. There it is. You'll love to see it. And I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time. Unless you want to see the ranks. Beginner, beginner, beginner. All right, there it is. You'll love to see it.